Medicines for Malaria Venture was created in 1999 as a result of collective concern that the malaria treatment pipeline had pretty much run dry. Drugs used to treat malaria, particularly in Africa, had been failing. This was a real crisis because drug development normally takes eight to ten years, minimally. MMV was created to respond to that market failure to bring new products for malaria treatment to the market. What we're doing is we're bringing together the best of academic science, the people that know about the parasite and know about the biology, with the people from the pharmaceutical industry who know how to develop drugs, and then also the people who have the money to fund all of this. What we've learned over the last 10 years is that not one player can do it on their own. It's all about partnership. Malaria is a killer of children, first and foremost. 85% uh, of the deaths uh, due to malaria occur in children under five. The treatments available to treat malaria were not child friendly. In fact, children often vomit, throw up, reject the treatments when they're administered to children under five. MMV realized this was a problem and early on with Novartis created a partnership to try and address this one major lack in the therapeutic area of treating malaria. Quartum Dispersible is specifically designed for the needs of small children and we did uh, the development in partnership with MMB. Anti-malarial products and as well the ACTs, they need to be crushed and they have all a bitter taste. Quartum Dispersible is the first ACT specially designed for children which dissolves quickly in water and has a sweet taste. The partnership has worked really well. We now have the drug approved by the European authorities and by the WHO, the World Health Organization, and there are 65 million treatments out there. Children are being treated as we speak. What's really good moving forward is we're looking at new ways of using the combination drug. We're looking at how we can treat smaller and smaller children, make sure this drug is available to everybody. While we really rely on partnerships for developing new products, that's not the end of the story for partnerships because it's no good to make a fabulous anti-malarial or the next greatest diagnostic test if we don't get that out to the people who need it. So ultimately, we need partnerships at every level of the system to make sure that those new products are rolled out into policies in countries, that they are distributed to the facilities and to the communities that need them, that people are trained, that communities are made aware of why these things are important. And to do all those steps, it requires partnership at every step of the way. In the case of Africa, where most of our work is focused for falciparum malaria, getting patients in the last mile to receive treatment is not about having a great drug, it's about making sure distribution, procurement, and national policies are in line to get the drugs out there. MMVs realized some time ago that only working on the ground with local partners to ensure the delivery of these drugs will actually lead to patients' lives being saved with great drugs. A number of trials were done over the last decade that increasingly showed that artesunate was more effective than quinine in saving children's lives. There are many manufacturers of artesunate out there, but we're not sure about the quality of all of those manufacturers. Guilin have been making artesanate for injection for the last four or five years, but it wasn't pre-qualified by the World Health Organization. That means that they hadn't passed all the inspections of quality. So we worked between Guilin, we talked with WHO, we brought everybody together, and we identified what the issues were, and then we helped Guilin to solve those issues. That involved sending people to Guilin who had experience in what the WHO were looking for, but of course people who spoke Mandarin. The medicine is now approved by the WHO and we're working in Africa with ministries of health, with government departments and with the key opinion leaders to make sure that this is rolled out as quickly and as efficiently as possible. It's solving those issues on the ground, understanding what the needs are, which is really important. One of the major challenges for African countries is translating guidelines in Geneva into policies and practice on the ground. MMV has helped support that work by developing training package and working with providers on the ground to ensure that they've got the right policies in place. That's an essential first step and we need that to be replicated in other countries. If we are working together in partnership, we will reach or be very close 
to our target in 2015. Neo Zero Death is not a dream if we are working together, if we are working in partnership. Defeating malaria is entirely possible. As human beings, we're capable of doing that, but it's gonna take partnerships at every level to make it happen. And it takes all walks of society, and it takes a global movement to do this. It's not any one person in an office in any one city that is leading the fight. It's a global movement to recognize that this ancient disease is entirely preventable and entirely treatable, and that we can defeat it. Thank you.